Buenos dias, buenos dias, and welcome back to the Sunday Cosmos Update. And today we're going to be talking about some of the exciting airdrops that you can claim right now in Cosmos, some of the upcoming ones, and some of the updates, what's going on in Cosmos next week, because actually we have a very big week ahead. <laughs> Let's do this one by one and start with the markets. Bitcoin this week um, seems to be ending at above $30,000. Ethereum at around uh, $1,915. So slight uh, uptrend, I think, this week. In fact, uh, quite similar. We had this crazy, weird wicks to the upside over 31000 And then the SEC came out this week, basically indicating that they might reject BlackRock's ETF, which obviously would be a big um, yeah, piece of negative news. But still, Bitcoin is holding up strong. We also see Polkadot. Um, I think it's very interesting, um, especially at these levels. Um, uh, I, I still have some DOT. Um, obviously, it's kind of this um, brother of Cosmos. Um, a lot of similarities in their vision. I think uh, still Polkadot is very interesting. Um, they just had a huge conference, the Polkadot Decoded in uh, Denmark, Copenhagen. And um, yeah, I think there were also a lot of uh, exciting news and partnerships, which to be honest is something that's a little bit lacking in Cosmos. Like we don't have the uh, Deloitte or TradFi, Web2, any big names and organizations that build any sort of pilot projects in, in the ecosystem. Uh, Polkadot, Avalanche, Sol Solana are doing a much better job at that, even Cardano. Um, so I think Sol uh, Polkadot is still interesting. They also just launched their open GAF framework. Um, I'm just not fully up to date with all of these things because obviously I spend most of my time in Cosmos. But yeah, I think Polkadot uh, didn't really react much to the conference uh, announcements, but obviously in the bear market, we had the same last year with Cosmos. Um, those those things don't really hit hard. Um, Atom keeps losing ranks, which I don't like at all. Still below ten dollars, while we have seen, you know, the XLMs, um, even ETC, Ethereum Classic, but of course Bitcoin Cash, uh, one of the biggest winners. Like they all overtook Atom just like that, and I don't really like that to be honest. Um, it takes a 10, 15, 20 percent push for Atom to get back to rank twenty four, at least. Um, but yeah, I think still severely undervalued. I still think Atom never really had a proper run. Um, obviously, there's a lot of things that factor into this, but um, I think it's poised to, to really um, go on a run anytime soon. And um, I think severely underrated um, also the rest of the Cosmos ecosystem, right? For example, the, the flagship decks in Cosmos, um, Osmosis is still ranked somewhere on page two, um, even though we just had a revision of the tokenomics. So Osmo also one of the most underrated coins, but we do see, and that is great to see as well, some of the Cosmos coins just doing their own thing, right? Um, for example, Injective has been on an amazing run. Um, so INJ in the top 70 now, really beautiful to see. ING is really killing it, um, INJ. Um, and also Kava is uh, been climbing up the rankings a little bit, lost a little bit um, uh, this week. But um, obviously with the USDT announcement that is launching on Monday. So tomorrow we have USDT launching on Kava. At least that's the latest news that I have. Um, very interesting things. So that's the general market. And why do I say that Atom is undervalued? Many things. The creation of the Atom Economic Zone, which I think most people are not really familiar with. Um, I made a video about this, which you can watch right after watching this video about the Atom Economic Zone. But also, one of the biggest criticisms is actually Atom's inflation rate or emission of new Atoms. And there is currently something happening. You can see actually in this chart, Atom inflation has been going down gradually since April. So we had a peak of around 16.2% in April. And since then, it's been going down. Why is it going down? It's going down because the bonded ratio, which means the amount um, or, or the percentage of Atom that is staked to the network exceeds two thirds. So, just for context, Atom has a dynamic inflation rate that ranges between a floor of 7% and a ceiling of 20%. And the target inflation rate, sorry, the target bonded ratio rate is actually 
two thirds or 66.67%. So if it's below two thirds, inflation rate will gradually go up to incentivize staking. If it's above two thirds, which is currently at um, around 70%, so it's above the two thirds, inflation rate will go down to the to the floor of 7%, right? Um, and there's obviously an equation behind that, which is uh, this one. Um, so one minus the current staking ratio divided by two thirds uh, times one, and you get to um, a decrease at the current rate with a bonded ratio of 70% um, of minus 6% or a decrease of 6% of the inflation for new atoms per year. So based on that equation, we would reach an inflation rate of 9% in one year from now, which at the current um, inflation rate that we have is a reduction of those 6%. Currently we are at 15 point something percent inflation rate. So that's a big change. I also think there's a lot of discussions about maybe this root, like the, the floor and the ceiling are too high, like seven between seven and 20%. This could also just be cut in half, right? This could be 3.5 and 10% or 2% uh, and 6%, right? Like these are all, like these could be changed by governance just like that. Like if somebody made a proposal and the community votes on it, um, I think validators would obviously have uh, something against this because it would lower their, their revenues uh, drastically. So maybe a gradual decrease of the inflation rate or, or this uh, range makes sense, the, the floor and the, the ceiling. Let me know in the comments what you think um, about specifically this part of the tokenomics. We're not even talking about implementing a fee burn. We're not even talking about um, uh, imp introducing a max cap, but just playing with this like dynamic floor and ceiling model. Like, what do you think about that? Like, should that be revised? Should that be cut in half? Should that be going down gradually? Or is it perfect the way it is? Um, just let me know. So that's Atom's inflation rate, which is decreasing. That's a good thing because obviously that would, um, with continuous uh, demand or growing demand, increase the price. And also we have the, the rollout of the Atom economic zone. As you know, I keep you guys posted here every single week as much as I can. And we have two proposals that passed. So we had um, the Stride blockchain uh, migration successfully going through on Tuesday, as well as the provision of 450,000 Atom's for Stride's ST Atom liquidity pool um, on Astroport. So we will see deep liquidity, we'll see the, the rollout of ST Atom. And also, this is also one of the factors maybe why the bonded ratio has been going up, up is because of liquid staking, right? Or staking derivatives. Because now you can stake your atoms, which increases the bonded ratio and lowers the inflation rate of atoms, while at the same time, you can still use them, right? Because what Stride fixes is this problem of the 21 day unbonding period um, and your capital obviously being locked, right? So with Stride and there's also Quicksilver, there's P-Stake, there's Stuffy, there's uh, Lido coming up potentially, you have all these things um, yeah, being, being changed. Um, also another prop that went through is to remove the Gravity Dex module, which was an attempt by the Bee Harvest team to launch a DEX on the Cosmos Hub uh, around two years ago. Um, that idea failed and that turned into what now became the Crescent Hub or Crescent Network, which is a standalone blockchain and Cosmos. Um, but yeah, this is where we stand. Great week overall. Those proposals went through. Um, also, we uh, increased the validator set, but that was already a couple of weeks before. So yeah, amazing stuff happening. If we look at the app chain ecosystem, we have news from Quasar that are about to launch their uh, token on StreamSwap. Um, so Quasar is actually um, yeah, preparing for, for a proper full launch. Um, and also in that context, I have some personal, uh, very exciting news to share with Quasar in the very near future. So stay tuned for that. But um, we've been covering Quasar here um, for a long time. In fact, we launched, uh, we were part of the, uh, testnet launch of Quasar in real time here on this YouTube channel uh, a couple of months ago. So Quasar is happening. Really cool to see that they're also using StreamSwap. I think StreamSwap is a perfect thing to, to roll out a token. And speaking of StreamSwap, we have seen one of the most exciting rollouts of the year, which is the launch of 
Centauri, composable finance flagship product, an extension of IBC that connects the Polkadot ecosystem to the Cosmos ecosystem, or more specifically Kusama to start with. Um, what they also did is they launched the Pika token, which is native to a substrate based parachain on Kusama on a Cosmos DEX, which is amazing, right? So StreamSwap is residing on Osmosis and they launched Pika on StreamSwap, which is really, really cool. So check out Picasso. Obviously, um, you know, I have a I have a close history with Composable. They used to be channel sponsors here of Cryptocito for quite some time. I'm really grateful to have worked with them. Um, actually would love to to revamp that maybe if that's uh, something that um, also the team wants. But I think Picasso or Composable Finance is one of the most exciting projects because they bring IBC outside and not only IBC, but also Cosmwasm, the native smart contract framework in Cosmos. So that's great news. Now, looking ahead also, I mentioned Quasar has some big news coming up next week. Archway also has some big news next week. In fact, their mainnet launch is scheduled to go live sometime in the next 30, 35 hours after you watch this video. So very, very, very shortly, very imminent. And with it, they also launch um, with a 5% Genesis airdrop. So that's 50 million Arch tokens um, from the um, full supply of uh, 1 billion, I think, is the total supply. So yeah, this will be distributed. Um, and then we will also get to see how that plays out. Um, here's the eligibility criteria. You can see also if you follow the C2 underscore zone uh, account on Twitter, which is our research findings and highlights uh, here also from this channel. You can also follow us there, please. And um, also subscribe to our newsletter because we just launched um, the C2 report, um, but we're still working on some ways to um, also subscribe uh, much easier, but I'll drop the link below this video. Um, but yeah, so eligibility criteria, you can also um, go here on, uh, what is it, airdrop.archway.io, which is where you can get here and then you type in your, um, or you paste in your Atom address and then you'll see what are you eligible. It doesn't tell you yet how much you get, as far as I can see, but um, you're eligible for the airdrop. So that's going to be cool. And um, yeah, here's the founder said 40, less than 48 hours. Um, and this is from today somewhere, uh, 16 hours ago. But yeah, this is really cool. And um, speaking of airdrops, um, this is from my C2 public um, wallet, um, public uh, portfolio challenge wallet. Um, by the way, there's a big update coming tomorrow. Um, so please watch the video tomorrow where I share my Cosmos investment challenge updates and all these kind of things with real numbers in real time of my wrecked portfolio since one and a half years. But I still get, get airdrops here and there. And even though it's not life-changing money, right? But 27 stride is like 30, 35 bucks. And you can put that to work for you. You can um, stake it. You can um, liquid stake it. You can do different things, right? You can also harvest and earn revenue shares from everything that's happening on stride. So Love the stride airdrop, and it, obviously I was not really um, putting in a lot of money into this, but still 30 stride here or 27 stride, um, and also the neutron airdrop, which I'm eligible here for around 40, 49, 48 NTRN, um, and then you can already claim it. Um, so for the next two months, um, there's a, a daily or, or whatever linear investing unlocking of your airdrop. And if you want to trade it or buy it or sell your airdrop, you can do that on Astroport today. So currently Stride, uh, sorry, Neutron has a price of 46 cents, which makes Neutron also one of the biggest airdrops since probably FMOS, I would say. Um, I think it's around $30 million right now that are given out for free to the Atom community. And by the way, all these airdrops, Stride, NTRN, Archway, you name it, uh, Arkeo coming up and many, many, many more. All these airdrops are not priced into the calculation of the APR that you get for staking Atom, right? Uh, this might also be a reason why Atom is maybe not yet in the top 10, but still it's strong in the top 25, top 30, because through staking, you get a red, like very high APR compared to any other top 20, top 30 chain. And you get all these big airdrops all the time, right? And some of them are really big. Some of them are quite small, but some of them are mid-sized. And obviously it depends on the, on the market environment as well. 
but it's just amazing how many how many free coins we got for staking Atom. NTRN, however, um, still very early stages. Um, they do have some hype currently, of course, with the recent uh, announcement of the of the raise and all these kind of things. Um, but at, at these levels, they're currently at a similar valuation of Osmo. So I think what kind of might make sense is to maybe cash in some of that some of that airdrop. Obviously, you know, as more of this airdrop gets unlocked over the next two months, I think more and more people will will try to sell, and that could mean more downside pressure. I'm sure at the same part, part at the same time they're also trying to mitigate that and and uh, anonymous partnerships, uh, maybe centralized exchange listings. You know, Binance has been one of their biggest investors, as far as I can tell. So NTRN, um, very, very excited about this. I think this has extreme potential in the long term to also add tremendous value to the Cosmos Hub. And if you're staking Atom, you are now earning NTRN um, regularly just for staking Atom. Right now, it's obviously still negligible because there's not too much traffic right now on Neutron, but it will ramp up and it will be big, um, in hopefully, right, in the future. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, we got more more stuff coming up. Obviously, Tether launching on Kava is a big thing that's happening tomorrow. We have uh, Noble also ramping it up and and coming up with some more announcements. I guess somewhere in the near future, um, and just overall more things. And also, finally, maybe to to wrap this up, we have a lot of exciting announcements coming up for Cosmos this year. Um, go to Cosmoverse.org and t uh, put in your email address and subscribe to that because. We'll very soon launch the early bird tickets, and um, yeah, there there might be um, only exclusive access for newsletter participants. So subscribe there, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, be good, and take care.